In this week's edition of Tutorial Tuesday, I'm going to talk about uh, chasing technique and <clears throat> how to hold the chisel. So what I've got here is um, an exercise that I have my students do in my workshops. And it's got uh, some straight lines, some curved lines, some uh, scrolls going different directions and uh, whatnot. And so this is a good exercise just to uh, practice different lining techniques. And what I've got here is a um, one of my small straight liners, um, a small curved liner, and an extra small curved liner. And um, so when you're holding a chisel, you're not going to want to hold it down here like this because now you don't have very much control up here. You know, if you hit it the wrong way, it can bounce around really easily. Uh, you're not going to want to hold it up here because, you know, then you've got to control way too much. So I like to hold it kind of like so. And uh, what this does is uh, this creates control all the way up and down the tool, uh, allows me to rotate it here with my thumb. And. Uh, it uh, <clears throat> is a nice solid grip here. So when you're uh, going to start chasing, you know, I'm just going to go over the, the real basics, is um, you know, you're always going to want to chase either left to right, or sorry, right to left, left to right, or down towards you. You're never going to want to chase away from yourself because you never see um, the tool and the line that you're chasing on that way. So, <clears throat> if uh, when you start chasing, you're going to want to just uh, hold the tool at just a slight angle and uh, hammer in repetitive motion, um, never letting the tool um, skip off of the piece, kind of hold it down, a little bit of downward pressure on there. And uh, you don't want to have this death grip on here. You want to hold it uh, fairly lightly, uh, just enough to control it. And uh, again, you're going to hammer with uh, even consistency and uh, strength and a nice repetitive motion uh, over and over again. So here we go. So yeah, that's just a little straight line. Um, next, what I'm going to demonstrate is a curved line. And I don't know if you guys can see this or not very well, but I've got some uh, scrolls uh, marked out here. And these are, you know, uh, let's see here, about one inch there. So that's about, uh, you know, a one inch radius. Maybe a little bit more because it's not a true circle. Um, maybe inch and a half or so. Um, but with a straight liner, I can still navigate most of this curve. So uh, I'll start here to where I think um, I'll need to switch. And I'll navigate this with my straight liner. I'm about the point where I need to switch now, so I'll switch to my small curved liner. And notice uh, as I go along, I'm going to rotate the ball so it's comfortable. about the point where I need to switch to my uh, extra small curved liner. And uh, just for um, 
Just to show you guys, I'm not going to follow the line, but I'm going to keep going around with my extra small curved liner just to show that uh, you don't need specific uh, radii tools for specific jobs. You could keep uh, going in there, so I'm just going to spiral, spiral around in there until I can't get any smaller. So there you go. I don't know if you can see that or not, but um, the smallest little curve that I got in there is about a sixteenth of an inch uh, wide. So um, you know, as long as you uh, have a little bit of chisel control and can uh, rotate there with your thumb, you don't need um, you know a million curved liners. Um, you know, pretty much two or three of them. Uh, can work. I make five of them um, just because uh, on the really large stuff sometimes it's easier just to have a big long um, tool to do these really um, gentle arcs on uh, large pieces. But uh, that's it. That's a pretty much easy chasing technique um, as far as holding the chisel. Again, you know, long uh, wide grip on the chisel so you have uh, control. Rotate the bowl. Um, to fit your work. Uh, don't crane around and be in some uncomfortable position and um, yeah that's about it. If you have any questions, comments, or things you would like me to talk about in the future please let me know. Um, next week I'll be talking about pitch containers because that's a topic that comes up quite frequently. I get asked about that a lot. So uh, next uh, week I'll talk about large pitch containers. Have a nice day.